Imagine walking into a supermarket and picking up a carton of milk, creamy, white, familiar. But here's the twist, it didn't come from a cow. No barns, no pastures, no milking machines, just a lab. Starting early next year, that won't be science fiction. In Israel, supermarket shelves will stock a brand new kind of milk, one that's genetically identical to the real thing, but made without a single animal. The company behind it, Remilk, says its cow-free milk tastes exactly like the real deal. Remilk is rolling out two versions, a 3% fat milk and a vanilla-flavoured one. Both are lactose-free, cholesterol-free and made without hormones or antibiotics. But this isn't just about another dairy alternative. It's the beginning of a scientific revolution one that could redefine what dairy even means. So how do you make milk without cows? It's called lab-grown milk or animal-free dairy, real dairy proteins made without animals. It's not almond, soy or oat milk. This milk contains the same proteins, casein and whey that give cow's milk its texture, taste and nutrition. The science behind it. Scientists use two main methods. The first uses mammary cell cultures. Cow mammary cells grown in bioreactors that naturally secrete milk. The second more advanced technique is precision fermentation. Here, scientists insert milk producing genes into microbes like yeast. Feed those microbes sugar and they start producing milk proteins identical to those from cows. Those proteins are then blended with fats, carbs and nutrients to create real milk. One that's brewed, not milked. You can froth it, churn it or even age it into cheese. It behaves just like dairy. How does it compare nutritionally? Lab-grown milk is designed to match cow's milk exactly. Same proteins, fats, carbs, calcium, even the same amino acids. But since it's made in controlled lab conditions, it can be customized. Producers can remove lactose, lower cholesterol or adjust fat levels easily. For example, Remilk's new milk is lactose-free by design, a big win for the lactose intolerant. Plant-based milks like almond or oat often lack protein and rely on fortification. This, in theory, gives lab-grown milk the best of both worlds real dairy nutrition with a lighter environmental footprint. The hurdles ahead. Of course, every revolution comes with challenges. First, cost. Producing milk proteins in bioreactors is expensive and scaling it for mass production isn't easy. Then comes regulation. Because lab-grown milk has the same proteins as cow's milk, it must carry allergen warnings. And globally, countries are still debating, should it even be called milk? Finally, there's public perception. Will people drink milk made in a lab? Will they pour it into their tea or give it to their kids? The global race for lab-grown dairy. The race to dominate this new dairy frontier is already on. Israel leads with companies like Remilk, Wilk and Imagine Dairy at the forefront. Singapore, which was the first to approve lab-grown meat, is now welcoming lab-grown milk too through startups like Turtle Tree Labs. Europe is moving cautiously. Stricter food safety laws mean slower progress. But Germany and Switzerland are testing products and expanding facilities. This isn't just about innovation, it's about capturing the future of a trillion dollar dairy market. And what about India? In India, the world's largest milk producer the story is evolving differently. Startups like Zero Cow Factory in Surat and Fix44 in Bangalore are experimenting with precision fermentation to make animal-free dairy proteins. But progress faces cultural and regulatory barriers. Here, milk isn't just food, it's emotion. It's part of festivals, rituals and daily life. Convincing Indian consumers to embrace lab-grown milk will take time and trust. 
the policy question the food safety and standards authority of india fssai hasn't yet set clear rules for lab grown dairy creating uncertainty for startups still the potential is huge for a country battling high feed costs unstable yields and environmental stress lab grown milk could eventually become a sustainable lifeline the big picture so what does milk without cows really mean it's not just about technology it's about transformation it's about reimagining one of humanity's oldest foods through the lens of modern science from israel supermarkets to indian labs the definition of dairy is being rewritten it might take years for consumers to fully embrace it but one day soon the milk in your fridge may not come from a cow at all it may come from a fermenter thanks for watching this explainer for more deep dives into science sustainability and innovation follow and subscribe to business standard